Wait, we're, on we're on a mission. What <laughs> you say that? <laughs> it looks, you saying it because it looks sketchy? No, no. Um, no, because it's got that kind of. Hostel feel. feel. Yeah. yeah, I got you. Okay, let's park up and unload. <laughs> so, my character is Nadia, and uh, she's 16. She's uh, had some difficulties with her mum following her like a hard year and she's been kicked out of her home, her mum wants her out of the house and then she's struggling at school because of that so it's kind of just telling her story of how that comes to light to a teacher at school and how she can get some help and just her journey going through that really um, and it, I think it is a different character to ones that I've played before because she's so young it's a totally different headspace her being at school um, and, well, yeah, being at school is just such a different thing, isn't it? She's in that world and that environment, and that's your, the so in your own head, you know, when you're in that kind of, when you're that young. Mr. Green, Anthony Green. He's a uh, head of year at um, a non-descriptive school. We, we don't know what the school's name is. <laughs> yeah, but basically his story is that he's, he's unfortunately, he's been homeless. Um, and so he went through the necessary steps and helped his mum, who was kind of going through her own stuff as well, getting, you know, she was in a violent relationship. And um, he learnt the law, basically, the le what he was legally entitled to. And so now he's at school, he's kind of seen it within this, another girl, like a young pupil, and he's basically trying to get her into a better place, really, and tell her what she's entitled to. So it's about the laws, really. And then ultimately, like, he kind of, um, yeah, just goes through that, really. So, Ted, how's the shoot going? Um, yeah, it's good, it's good. We are, we're, we're moving forward, we're mm -hmm. rolling out. Mm -hmm. And then we're rolling up, and then we're wrapping in. <laughs> I don't know, but we're moving forward. I know that much. Okay. So it's going all right. It's going all right. Yeah, lots still to do. Have we eaten lunch yet? No, no, we don't eat lunch. We don't eat lunch. No, we just motor through, innit? <laughs> eating is cheating. <laughs> so the character is um, Mr. Callahan. He's a teacher. Uh, like I say, it's like a cameo role, so it's really just a very short scene where he has a confrontation with um, with the protagonist, uh, Nadia. Um, so it's, it's, it's very small, um, but it's kind of, I guess, important because it's right at the start to establish what kind of a character Nadia is and um, sort of trying to work out why she's being difficult or why she's having a tough time. Um, my character is a loving mother who has helped uh, John um, with his demons, brought him into the house with Anthony, her son, who is her pride and joy. Um, John has turned out to be disappointing, to say the least, and I, I think my character's just had enough, wants him out, um, wants to make a fresh start because she prioritises her life with her son and she's a good parent. <laughs> all right, quickly, quick, because Ty's going to tell us stuff. All right, all right. right. So, what do you want to ask me? How's, how's it going? Yes, how Why, what do I know about Philly Focus? No, I'll tell you this. Right, day two, day one was awesome. We got a lot of great stuff. Ty's going to tell me off, but they're not ready. Um, that today, day two, we've blocked everything already. So now that the Ronin's ready, we're going to go out and just smash it. Nadia and uh, Mr. Green, so Richie and Rosa, are ready. They're 
they're going to be awesome and it's going to be very powerful and shout out to everyone involved because this is going to be a very very special one trust me when i say that trust me trust me the day has been crazy um we have had quite a long day already today we had quite a long day yesterday and we've had good weather which has been good but we've been hampered by a bit of equipment trouble but everyone's spirits are good um we've got a lot of soldiers on set today in terms of their work ethic and getting on with it and we always know that at the end of what we do we're going to have something beautiful and so we have long days but we have to have the quality there because that quality will be etched in history forever everyone has their own unique rap name today so it's young followed by the last thing that you ate so you'd be young croissant a young croissant oh boy you'd be young kiwi young kiwi Pan o chocola. As am I, we are twins. Twins. You're done now. Come on. Young Coco Pops. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem. What do you think about this? So you'd be young. Custard cream. A young custard cream! Bop. Bop, one more time. Bop. It's been a long day. I'd be young Patty, which is fortunate because I had a dumpling and I had Patty, but I ate the dumpling first. Which is good because otherwise I'd be a young dumpling. <laughs> Man, I'm going to say it might have been a, a mouth of coleslaw. Young coleslaw in the house, that's yeah. what I do. Coleslaw, yeah. When's the mixtape coming out? Well, the mixtape's coming out soon. It's called Shredded Cabbage and Carrot. <laughs> it's coming out in end of 2017. Yeah, the first thing was going to be bang and it's called Extra Mayo. This project is really important to me mainly because it's about homelessness and it's teaching young people about homelessness, the different levels of homelessness and um, it's informative. So this character, Nadia, she's going through a lot with family and people don't understand why she's acting the way she's acting at school and luckily there's a teacher who reaches out to her and unfortunately, not, that's not the case for many young people. So, for example, myself, I was homeless. And it's great to see a film like this being portrayed in a way that's not stereotypical for young people. So we can be relatable, we can understand it, and then we can progress in finding um, either a hostel or support, uh, support workers somewhere out there who can help you. Um, and this film will help a lot of young people nowadays to find that. Because it shines a light on what uh, happens for young people when they find themselves homeless. And um, I have some experience myself, and so I want to, yeah, I want to be part of um, drawing awareness to what we need to do to help young people. Don't you dare. Put that away. Put that away now! You are unbelievable. Uh, so Nick literally contacted me and said, look, you know, I'm with Fully Focus, we've got this project, we're doing a thing for Centrepoint. And uh, Centrepoint's a charity that's pretty close to my heart um, from things I've done in the past. So, yeah, it was, uh, you know, I was more than happy to come and help out and, you know, good people, good team, good charity. What do you think of the Fully Focus team? Okay. So unprofessional. Um, it's wonderful, it's great. I love seeing so many women on a set because that doesn't always happen, so that's amazing. And huge diversity, which is brilliant. And young people getting involved in something like this is really important. So I, I, I'm really impressed. I'm really happy to be here. Nah, nah, everyone I've met is, seems very cool. And um, I just like, like I was saying to Teddy before, what I like is the fact that it is a team and everyone gets together and does... You know, I, I feel like I never had that. Like I've only re like I've only recently found my team. Yeah. Like it would have been nice to have that when I was young, because you, I just think you just become so much more creative and actually you're just more comfortable doing it. Like this setup is the same setup that people have in Hollywood. They just have bigger budgets and more money. That's it. Like that's the difference. So if you're doing it now, like grassroots, it's like, why would you not be able to do that in ten years time at a bigger level? Right. So yes, yeah, so in terms of the team, I think it's good, and I think. Um, the fact that you're able to come on shoots like this and be part of everything, you know, another team member coming in, messing things up. I like it. I think it's good. I think it's smart. <laughs> and I'd just like to say thank you so much uh, 
for welcoming me into your fully focused family for the last three days. It's been really amazing and I'm really grateful to to have been involved and to have been in this amazing environment for the last three days. So thank you. Shout out to Fully Focus in MYM. Thank you. Oh,